The Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And what that Bible verse simply means is that whatever transformation we want to experience in our lives, is it in our finances, in our health, in our emotions, in our intellect, whatever kind of transformation we want to experience, it starts with our mind. A lot of us, when we encounter failure, we begin to look at it from a personal perspective. We see failure as a, an indicator that we are not good enough. But unfortunately, that is a wrong way to look at things. It affects every other thing about you. When you think of yourself as a failure, then you have already failed before you even start. I actually look at the Bible in the creation story and I see that God is an expert at repurposing failure. What do I mean by this? You might say, hmm, do you mean that God experiences failure? Well, the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 that God created heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness covered everywhere. So in that, in essence, God created the heavens and the earth. He had a picture in his mind, but after creating heaven and earth, everything was formless, void. There were floods everywhere, darkness everywhere. But what did God do? God repurposed the darkness that covered the earth into night so there was day and there was night so instead of pure pitch darkness that is overwhelming that is discouraging night became some t a time when people go to rest and rejuvenate after a long day's work imagine if there was nothing like night you see so god repurposed that in quote failure into something beautiful night time a time to sleep a time to rejuvenate another um example the earth was covered with water but what did god do god repurposed those floods and the water that covered everywhere there was water all over to the left to the right god did not just create land but he repurposed that water into seas and into the clouds so because the bible says that he divided the waters below from the waters above so the waters below are the seas and he made it to be filled with fish and all manner of living creature that are so amazing the ocean world is another world of its own amazing and then the clouds itself they became another you know world of their own you know with all the clouds out there in the sky and the birds are flying and everything is so beautiful god made that failure in form of okay the, the, the failure of having water everywhere he turned it into a beautiful thing which became like the condensation system where the water from down goes up and then the water when it fills up it comes down and waters everywhere you know the plants everywhere grow and we can have food to eat so what is it i want you to take away from here if you can learn how to repurpose your failure if you learn to not take failure personal but you look at failure as something you know like like a raw material that you can actually use to do something ex extraordinary then you begin to live an, a truly amazing life and one thing that i one way that i practice doing this is through gratitude so what does gratitude do gratitude makes you to look at things from a different perspective when i see things that are not going well one thing i do is i ask myself what can i be thankful for in this situation so no matter how bad things are if you begin to practice looking at it and saying to yourself yes things are really bad but what is one good thing I can be grateful for? So for example, let's say someone has an accident. This accident is horrible, but what can you be thankful for? Maybe nobody lost their lives. Somebody may have been crippled as a result, but actually life is everything. So this is just something I want us to think about. Learn how to repurpose your failure. That is one of the ways that you can transform your mind so that your mind will become a positivity machine, a, a creativity machine, a machine that brings out good out of evil, a machine that brings out something out of nothing. <laughs> I'm calling it a machine because that is, our brains are so amazing, but it is what we feed our mind. It is what we feed ourselves that comes out. According to the um, computer parlance, it says garbage in, garbage out. So I want you to think about that. As a Christian, or even a non-Christian, this, this um, principle works for everyone. If you practice gratitude every single day, look at that your life that looks so awful, that looks so horrible, and every day ask yourself, what can I be thankful for? And then the opportunities out there for you are limitless. So um, I just thought I'll drop this here with you and um, share your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you in my next video.
God bless you.